Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel, aka Hashlabs. Welcome to my channel where today I'm going to cover some of the updates that I've added to the Art Creator Studio. A quick reminder, if you ever feel stuck in some of my tutorial videos, head over to hashlabs.io and you can go and follow me on Twitter and ask me there if I'm available or you can go to the Discord community, Hashlabs community. It's an open community, so just be cautious, don't accept any random DMs. However, in the general chat, it's a perfect place to ask your technical questions. All right, so back to the video, and I have to say, sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been busy studying up on the advanced topics of EVM so that I can make more tutorials. Anyway, today's topic is about the updates to the art engine. Now the art engine is an alpha version currently. You can find it on this link over there. And it does work, although it's not in production. So if you use it, just be cautious, things can break. But many people have used it and is very happy with the results. Today I'm gonna to look at my local host version because this is the version where I've added some updates which I think is pretty exciting. The update is all about using various formats. So yes, usually with the Art Creator Studio, you could only use images. And now I made it possible to make use of videos as well. And this opens up a whole new possibility for artists to create. Now it's not live yet on Alpha, but I wanna show you what I'm working on and some of the stuff I'm struggling with as well, because I think it is good to put that in the video too. Uh, because some of you out there who are developers might learn from this too. Anyway, if I now go and I add some media, I can see that I've got some data, which is a combination of videos and uh, images. So for example, this bag over here, this is actually a video and you can see how it jiggles about. Um, and then we've got images, we've got the equivalent of a video, uh, in this image or, or this video over here, I believe the character smiles a little bit. So it's not great, the animation, because mainly I had to just do this uh, for testing purposes. Uh, and this face, the face is eating this cookie. So that's pretty cool. So now that you can see we've got a mixture of images and videos, how will it work when we preview the work? So let's go ahead and create a group um, let's organize the background, body, face, props, and clothing. Click on that. And now you can see here is a preview. You can see that the glasses, it has a bit of a shine. So if I just zoom in here, uh, you'll be able to see it. So here we go. So now you can see that the glasses have a little bit of a glim glimmer of shine, I would say. Uh, the actual fur is also lightening up with color. That's just part of the video. And then this Santa suit looks like the character is breathing, right? So now you can see how uh, the images and the videos are getting mixed. And I can refresh. Here's another one with the banana. And then the shirt has an eye that's actually moving. Now, the way this works is a pretty interesting concept. You see, there are many layers that you can still split out and individually see which ones are videos and which ones are PNGs. For example, the fur, the body of this character is just a PNG. And the face and this banana is a video. Of course, the shirt is a video and the glasses in this case is again an image. So it was quite a tricky challenge to get this to work and to work in a good way. So we can now refresh, we can see there are many more layers that can animate. And I think this is pretty cool and much needed, right? I think there are many artists out there that really needs the capability of merging images and video. Um, and maybe this will open up more possibilities for artists who have never done this before to try this out. Now, this is a major, uh, I would say, accomplishment because also all of this is happening in the browser, on the client side. There's no server involvement here. And that was part of the challenge that I had uh, when merging the content. Now, of course, this is just the preview. Now, we still need to have a look at how it's going to output. So if we head over to the exporter section and I change the amount to maybe five of these videos, and hit generate. It works the same as before. Now we can just see that 
uh, we also get the output here, which is very much the same as the preview. Now I'm just going to increase these item sizes so they are of decent quality. And there we go. And now I can just regenerate. And then we go and select a folder where this is going to render to. So I'm going to select that folder. And now I can just simply say uh, render and it, it actually collapses the output while rendering. There's a specific reason for this and partly um, also the cause of why this is not in production yet. So yeah, the fact that um, we are rendering videos and recording them on the fly on the browser, it does take a lot of resources. And therefore, after a generation, uh, the browser feels quite slow until you restart it. And that's just something I need to go and clean up. However, if we now go into the render uh, folder where it exported, we can see here is our videos. Now, WebM formats, uh, by the way, I'm going to make it so that it supports WebM when you have your source files because they support transparency, which is great, and they work uh, in a browser very well. So now we can go ahead and open these and see how they look like. And they will open in the browser like so. And now we can see, we can go ahead and give it a go and play. Now there is some lag, there is some frame drop here and there. And you can see this video is three seconds long. Originally my files were four seconds long. Now I'm gonna make it in the beginning where there's a set cap of only four seconds per clip. Uh, so that it can sync up better um, in, in this case. Otherwise, we run into uh, syncing issues. So if we give it a go, we can see the video is three seconds long. We can see the body move, the breathing of the Santa. We can see the lasers shooting out over there. Now, of course, this is not the best animation, but that's partly uh, my fault because I didn't spend a lot of time animating these. I just manipulated the layers by dragging them across and recording it in Photoshop, okay? So uh, forgive the animation. However, you can see the movement uh, is indeed there. And if we open maybe another one like this, we can see that the glasses have that uh, glimmer, right? And the character is smiling. So I just wanna quickly tell the side story, as I promised, um, of what happened before. So essentially, before when I started the art engine, I actually planned ahead to start doing the source types. As you can see, I have MP3 in there, I've got GIF in there, and I actually made it so that you can mix GIFs and MP3s and videos. And, you know, I had this big dream of just mixing everything in one go, and provided it needs to happen on the browser, of course. Now, I did that, and in the beginning, it was so intensive that, you know, I sat, sat nights and upon nights trying to figure out how I'm gonna mix the frames uh, of GIFs and audio and video, uh, although audio can sit on a separate layer, but how do I mix the frames and make it look smooth? Because technically, if a video has different frame rates, one of the layers is going to break, unless you do a filler layer or something like that. Needless to say, it took me such a long time to just break my head about how I'm gonna go about this that I gave up and I just uh, said, we're gonna go with PNG only for the art studio. And that's why, um, you know, mainly it just supports PNGs. And uh, then I just decided to give it another go. And so the lesson I wanted to just tell you is that do not stop with what you want to do, you're right. If it's a project you're working on and you really want something to work a specific way, keep going at it, don't give up until you're happy with your results. Just by thinking about it differently, I got it to work. There was no need for GIFs because GIFs can be in the form of a video too. So just by changing my approach and keeping at it and trying to make it work, eventually I got it to work. So I just thought that's an interesting side story. So yeah, back to the video. Now, there are some syncing issues with frame rate and these things that I still need to sort out, but I thought that this is a very cool video to make already, seeing that I'm already halfway there. And to get you excited, and let me know in the comments if you would like to use a feature like this. Is, is it intriguing enough? So yes, definitely let me know. It's important to note that I always try and create tools for myself to make my art creation process 
uh, easier, right, and more exciting. And at the same time, I release this to the public, like the Art Engine and this UI tool, for artists to also try it out and help them with their creative process. So your feedback, I value so much. Anyway, I just wanted to show that it still does the normal images perfectly fine as well. And um, it's using a different rendering method, which is 3JS. So it's quite interesting how I get that result. But needless to say, that is the update for today. I'm working on being able to use videos with images to make your creations. And I think it's pretty cool. And so, yeah, I don't know when it's going to be out in Alpha 2 uh, for now, because I'm just working on it. You might see a couple of videos coming out soon this weekend of me creating art. Please go and watch those videos if you want a nice relaxing uh, just lay back, sit and relax and see what I create type of videos. If you like that sort of thing, go and watch it out. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. Do follow the progress of these tools, tutorials about Web3 and development and also a bit of art. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And till next time, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.